We represent all the cultures, people, and languages of the city of Rochester, and to some degree, greater uh, Western New York as well. So you'll see as you go around that we have books in many different languages. Um, right, I think the last time we counted, we had about 12 different languages right now. Um, and again, books that really represent all the many cultures of people that live here in the city. So um, that's been really important to us, and we've gotten fantastic feedback of people walking in saying like, Oh my gosh, this, you know, this cover, this person looks like me, or this is a great book about someone I've always wanted to learn about, or that kind of thing. So we're, we're very excited to be able to, to do this here in Rochester. Great. Do you guys have a story why you guys decided to open the children's bookshop? But not an adult? <laughs> <laughs> As opposed like a, a not adult bookshop? Yeah. Well, I don't, we're, both of our stories are a little bit separate, but they kind of converge. For me, I've always loved children's literature and actually was looking to open up a children's bookstore about 15 years ago with a, maybe 20 years ago with a friend of mine, and it just didn't pan out at the time. Um, but I just, I love children's literature. I think it's some of the best literature that's out there right now, um, whether the little kids or young adult books. Um, I love all books, but these, I just, I think they're fantastic, and um, a child's bookstore brings in everybody, right? It brings in the little ones, and it brings in the adults, and it brings in grandparents. It's so intergenerational, so I think that's a big part of it, too, is it becomes really a community space for people.